What's up guys and girls of the interweb? In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Rancher on our server. So um, a word before we get into actually doing the actual work, I wanted to point out that, you know, we've refreshed our website. There's a lot of new stuff uh, on our website and you can now subscribe to become a member. Um, so this video is only possible because of the members who subscribe because, you know, on our YouTube channel, we don't make enough to actually fund this whole thing. So, um, you know, by you becoming a member, it makes it possible for us to continue to make these videos and put them out for free. And as a way of saying thank you to the people who have subscribed, we are now going to start making some extra videos for like exclusive to our uh, members who, who pay uh, monthly to on, on our website. So um, without your support, this is definitely not possible. So um, take a look at our website and uh, take a look at the content that we have. We also have a now uh, Rails Foundation course, which is, um, you know, like we're getting there. We're getting to the point where we're starting to build some really exciting stuff. We're building a commenting system. Uh, so essentially, you know, we're starting out building a Medium uh, a clone. So a site just like medium.com. Um, and, uh, you know, we're doing it from scratch, like from zero, actually generating the app uh, for user authentication. We're just also even doing that from scratch. We're not actually using any gems or anything like that. So we're going to cover a lot of episodes. We have 20 episodes so far. More are coming. So um, I highly uh, encourage you guys to check that out. So uh, to work with Rancher, you're going to need some kind of VPS. And I highly recommend um, Linode because... Uh, Linode will allow uh, you to boot up a machine very, very cheaply, uh, actually even cheaper than DigitalOcean now. They have a new plan. So if I click add a Linode over here, um, you know, their two gigabyte plan is only $10 a month. And in the description below, I'm going to add a link for you guys. And then, uh, you know, basically we get credit and, you know, you're helping us out uh, with the, you know, the server fees and all by doing that. Uh, so you can... Uh, uh, click the link below and sign up and then basically boot up a machine and then you can install Rancher. Um, so here we are. I'm going to boot up this machine over here with the uh, two gigabyte of RAM. This will be sufficient. So I'm going to choose the region Singapore. Uh, click add this Linode. And uh, to set up um, to set up the machine. So if when you boot it up, uh, I highly recommend you guys use either Debian 8 or uh, Ubuntu 14.04. Um, it's highly you know, been tested by the Rancher guys, and I know it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna pick a base image that I have built for myself, Ubuntu Docker base. Now, um, I basically, all this is, is it's just got a uh, Ubuntu, and it's got a basic install of, of uh, Docker. And uh, if you wanna see an episode where I show you guys how to install Docker on Ubuntu, uh, you can check out the link. It's coming up on either side. So you can check that out in a separate video. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and boot this machine up and then we're going to um, go ahead and install uh, Rancher. It's actually a very in simple install process. Um, you know, it's actually one line because it uses Docker, it keeps things very, very simple and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot that up, just like that. And I'm gonna SSH root into my box. All right, so here we are. Uh, so before we go ahead, I just wanna set the host name very quickly. Uh, so set um, echo, and then we're gonna do rancher01, um, and then just gonna put that in etc host name. All right, uh, so I'm gonna do a quick reboot. All right, so I'm booted back up into the machine now. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this command over here from the Docker documentation, from the Rancher documentation, sorry. And I'm just gonna paste this into here and just hit enter. So this is gonna basically get uh, Rancher up and running for us. And then once it's up and running, I'm gonna show you guys what to do next to in order to authenticate and secure our Rancher installation. All right, so Do uh, Rancher has now finished installing. So if I ch check uh, Docker PS, we're gonna see that it is now up and running. So all we have to do now is use the IP address of the box so I can exit out from here now. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this IP over here. 
Uh, so you don't have to use IP. If you want to use your own custom DNS, uh, your domain name, you can do that. So you can do something like rancher.yourcompany.com. Uh, you can set that up in the in the DNS zone file. If you don't know how to do that, leave a comment below and I'll help you guys out with that. So I'm going to head over here and go to port 8080. And so this is going to boot up Rancher for us. Uh, so initially Rancher is insecure. And so what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is take care of the access control. And uh, I'm going to use GitHub here. There's a few options, but I'm going to use GitHub. You can also use uh, this local over here. Um, and so you can set uh, like an admin user and enable local auth over here with using a password. We can do that, um, but I just use the GitHub option. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the um, developer uh, page for the GitHub, and then I'm going to click register a new app, and then I'm going to do Rancher. And then basically it tells us all the options over here. So I'm going to copy the homepage URL, paste that in like that. And then um, the application description can be anything. Authorization callback, we can also copy that and we can then paste that into here. Um, so then we can click register application. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get the client ID um, over here and then paste it in here, very simple. Just like that. So once we have all these details set up, we can click authenticate with GitHub. And then basically this is going to ask us, you know, if we're going to allow permission. Uh, so what we can do is uh, just click um, authorize application and that will be uh, enough. All right. So here it is. It's working. Cool. So now um, our Rancher installation is secure and only we can access it. Um, and so you can also add, you know, if you want people, you know, certain people to be able to access this, you can add them using their GitHub username over here. So for now, this is going to work. Um, so in the next episode, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to start adding some machines over here. And then, uh, basically I'm going to show you guys how to take all the concepts we've learned in the foundation using the, the command line, you know, in the, in the previous episodes, how that applies to deploying, our application into um, Rancher here. Uh, so, you know, like I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the environment, uh, you know, the, like the way I do it and how that works. Um, you know, how do you add um, stacks and application, how do you manage application settings and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, um, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one.